Hello, everybody. I'm Debbie Giordano, and you have tuned in to Valley Homes on TV. This is the Milpitas edition. Um, we air on Channel 26 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6.30 p.m., and also Saturday and Sunday at uh, 8.30 a.m. And today we have um, a special guest and a new co-host. Edwin is Rizzello is out for the taping today. So we have as a guest Steve Marciano. He's with Bank of America, a loan officer. And your office is located where, Steve? In it's in the Prune Yard Towers in Campbell, California. Okay. All right. So you're close by to Milpitas. So mm -hmm. I know we meet periodically at the breakfast meetings here locally in Milpitas. You do a lot of work in yes. this region. Yes. Yeah, so I live close to Milpitas, so that's always been one of my areas that I focus on and build my relationships with the realtors over there to help them out and close deals over there. Great. And I know today we'll be talking about um, your Nehemiah loan program, which is kind of a new type of program. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be talking about some first-time homebuyer programs that your B of A might offer. And then mm -hmm. also we'll talk a little bit about interest rates and sure. where they're going and what's going on mm -hmm. today. And Marika, thank you so much for for Absolutely. coming, especially last minute. I called you yesterday and you said, sure, you'll show up. You tape these shows in San, San Jose, Jose, correct, with uh, Edwin. And uh, Comcast 15 airs at uh, Thursday night at 9 p.m. Please watch it. Oh, yes. Great, <laughs> great. Uh, Put my plug in. And Marika, you are um, a title a representative with correct. Old Republic title. That is true. And, and if I recall, your office is in the Evergreen area? Yes, in Silver Creek Country Club. Okay, okay. Right next to Megabyte Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we'll be talking uh, at the closing of our segment of TV about the title industry and, and where the market might be heading and kind of your outlook, too, on where you see things going. So, um, Steve, we're going to begin. Okay. Uh, ne Nehemiah Pro I actually heard about that program at one of the breakfast meetings when you talked about... When I was talking about that, how, yeah. ...how that worked. Why don't you explain to the folks what that program is and... How does it work, and what how it can benefit a buyer? Okay, um, actually, the Nehemiah program it, it's not a Bank of America program, but it is a program that I've found that that helps buyers and sellers put deals together. They've been around for over ten years, and um, they're like a down payment assistance program, where the seller needs to be willing, the buyer and seller needs to be willing to do this, and in a lot of cases, the seller can get a good purchase price offer for their property and with that instead of um, or yeah instead of giving a lot of closing costs to the buyers they can actually assist them in the down payment possibly now, is that a loan that the seller gives or it more or less less a gift or a contribution how does that it's um it's like a gift and the Nehemiah program is the one that orchestrates that okay so um, three percent six percent maybe three percent can go towards a down payment another three percent can go towards closing costs so a buyer can actually walk in buy a property and get three percent equity immediately right and the seller one thing the seller wants to do they don't want to lower the purchase price too much because then they're giving away the three percent but they put a fair purchase price and the value will come in that has worked quite a few times um, I have one going right now that was three, three twenty-five purchase price, and the seller is giving up six percent, three for the down, wow. three for the loan, and everybody's happy. Uh -huh. They got that house sold, and that happens to be in a declining area like Tracy. And and I guess that would benefit the seller also in in as far as them not having to reduce the price of their property uh, by giving that the uh, the the gift that keeps the property value right up. And, and offers it to more borrowers. Correct. You know, correct. so with that available for them, if they're willing to do that, they may get 10 possible buyers instead of two by any, not doing any it. Any special qualifying that the buyer has to do to, to obtain that program? Oh, it's very easy to qualify. Basically, it's the buyer and the seller willing. There's okay. no income limits. Um, and it's used a lot with FHA. Now, there's some loans that you cannot use the Nehemiah. Um, uh, one of our loans is the Acorn loan. You cannot use it with that loan, okay? But that's a, a special loan in itself that I can go into later a little bit. Uh, but FHA, it's used quite a bit. Over 30% of the purchases um, with FHA, they use the Nehemiah program. Okay, so if there's any viewers out there wishing to get involved with the loan program where the 
seller would contribute the down payment mm -hmm. using the name. They may contact you? Absolutely. And how would Absolutely. they reach you then? They could reach me at my cell phone, 408-891-0419, and my email is steve.marchana, like the month of March, M-A-R-C-H-A-N-A, -A -A, at bankofamerica.com. Good. So. I'm going to ask you to give that a couple times so we can make sure that folks know how to get hold okay, of you. Okay, great. Um, that, that is, that's an awesome program, I think, and, and possibility there'll be more of that being used as the years come by. Uh, First-time home buyer programs. You, you talked about FHA. Mm -hmm. That that you Bank of America offers. You offer the FHA. Right. Like right now, especially like in the Milpitas area, in the five hundred thousand to six hundred thousand purchase range, FHA can be used um, up. You know, even in the six hundred thousand dollar range. When you get closer down to the five hundred, you can open up an Acorn possibility. An Acorn is a Bank of America loan that we can do. We can do a thirty year term. We can do a forty year term uh, to help them qualify. And what's unique about the ACORN is there's no mortgage insurance. So you can get one loan to, let's say, 95%, up to 500000 and there's no mortgage insurance. And it can be a 30-year term, it can be a 40-year term. Um, now, 40-year term, the pro and con on that is it's your loan is throughout 40 years instead of 30. Right. However, there's no prepayment penalty, and if they want to pay extra towards that and pay it off in 30 years, they can. But it gets them into a house with a uh, minimum lower monthly payment than it would be on a 30-year term. So between the two programs, the FHA and the ACORN, do you recommend one over the other? Depending on the case. Okay. Um, for instance, an ACORN program, uh, they have to go to a first-time home buyer class. Um, the advantage of that is no mortgage insurance. One loan, no mortgage insurance. And the mortgage insurance is and on the And the 40-year term. Is on the FHA. Mortgage insurance is on the FHA, although it's a, uh, a lower factor, um, don't want to get too confusing, but the monthly payment on the FHA mortgage insurance is not bad at all. Now they charge you one and a half points up front, that's how they make their money. Which the seller can pay? Yes, that could be used towards uh, the closing cost from the seller. Okay. That's, yeah, you can do that. Okay. Um, or you could just put it into the loan, okay. or a lot of them do that. instead of a. For instance, a 97% loan can be done with FHA right now, and you can add the point and a half on top of that 97%, and then the rest can be the gift from the seller. And with FHA, you don't even need any reserves. So it's amazing the type of deals you can put down with FHA. Okay, Steve, I have a question for you. I'll Actually, I was going go to ahead, say something, please. too. As I'm listening to you, it seems like that there are so many great loan programs out there, yet the assumption of the buyers or the people that are thinking of buying, or I can't afford it, I cannot do it. And and I'm amazed that, you know, I'm still hearing, you know, 97%, 95%. Right. So there are programs. There's a lot of great programs, and but the other part is true that you said. Some of them can't do it, and mm -hmm. some of them can afford it. Um, the days of the not proving your income are kind of behind us for a while, at least, unless they're putting a big down payment down. So for the first-time home buyers, they need to be able to prove their income. Um, so that way, and for instance, the FHA loans are insured. So nobody's going to take a loss on that, but they need to prove the income. That's one reason why Bank of America likes FHA, because we've always liked, or Bank of America always liked, full doc loans, where you, you know, provide your income documentation. And um, as long as they can provide the income documentation, there's not going to be any guessing if they can afford it. They're going to be able to afford it if we get them approved.